All right, so we are ready to move on. And so in our last video, we did activity six, and now we are moving on to basic formulas and functions. All right, so what is a form top? Well, Excel uses formulas to perform numeric calculations in Excel, okay? Excel can use mathematical operations to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. All right, so for example, a simple formula will contain only one operator. Okay, so for example, one plus one, okay? If we wanna go a little more complex, the complex formula contains more than one mathematical operator. So for example, two plus five times four, okay? If there are more, more than one operator, one, if there are more than one operators in a formula, so as you can see here, we have a plus sign and we have multiplication, Excel uses the order of operations, okay? So P-E-M-D-A-S, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, okay? So that is what Excel uses when there are more than one operators. All right, so it is not quite a formula yet. The only thing that we are missing at this point, when you want a formula, you need to have an equal sign, okay? So you wanna have an equal sign at the beginning of your formula bar. All right, so I'm gonna have an equal sign here. All right, and then I'm gonna press enter. Okay, so now as you can see, it did the calculation for us. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, okay? Once we add that enter, uh, equal sign, remember your order of operations. All right, so we are in parentheses, we don't have exponents, we do have multiplication, so we'll do the five times four first. Okay, then, um, addition, it will have it will do the two plus uh, twenty, so you will get twenty two. Okay. Now, right. All right. So, uh, let's talk about what a cell reference is. All right. So, a cell reference is a cell or a cell range on a worksheet and can be used in a formula. And I just want to give you an example. So, let's say I want to add what. What is in A1 to so what's in C1? So I'm going to do equals. So if you type in the cell A1, I'm going to add that to C1. Press enter. Okay, there you go. You get 24. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is if I change what's in A. So if you look at our formula, remember we have what's in A1 plus what's in C1. So if I go here to A1, if I change the number um, from 2, let's do 10. Okay, so our formula here will update, and so now we have 32 because we have our new A1 is now 10, C is 22, adds it up, we get 32 here. All right, and a function is, let's move on to functions. So a function is a predefined formula, okay? So for example, if we go, um, we are here in formulas, and we can do, you may have heard of the sum, um, function. Um, Excel has a lot of different um, functions depending on what you need. So there's sum, there's average, there's count. Okay, there are a lot of functions depending on what you need. And as you can see in our function library here in our function tab, if I click, as you can see, we have so many different functions. Here it's financials. We have a lot of different financial functions here. Okay. Um, recently used. Okay. Um, text, date and time. So as you can see, there are so many different functions here. All right. And again, what you use depends on what you're trying to do. Okay. So if you want to um, add numbers up, you could use the sum function. Okay. And we will use the auto sum function in a future video. All right. Um, I just wanted to get you familiar with formulas and functions. All right, in our next video, we're going to do work on some of our activities.